I am officially here in enemy territory. I've been to this venue, I would say 12 to 14 times, and I've seen us win twice and a draw. And I reckon the average losing margin is around 80 points. I don't want to jinx this, but this is the most confident I've been that we could potentially get a result at Gadinia Park. But knowing that it's at Gadinia Park means it's a whole nother proposition. Uh, Nooney, how are you feeling, great man? Nooney's back, Doss is back down here, and we've got our lovely old Moonia joining us tonight. Mooney. Uh, how are you feeling about the Cats this season? You're very knowledgeable with football. Uh, maybe this year's pre-season predictions might not say that, but the year before, you tipped the Cats to finish first. Well, in 2022, everyone thought they were written off, but they did finish first, so you've got your finger on the pulse when it comes to the Cats. Um, it's just not clicking at the moment, is it? I feel like I've sometimes got the finger on the pulse, but I feel like our, uh, our best 23 at the moment don't have the finger on the pulse, and we're just very lethargic at the moment, and we're not, not the team we want to where we can't, but it's getting walked out of the middle, guys, but our backs are under the pump for the first time in history, and yeah, I, I, I think we lose by four goals tonight, although I've tipped, them, I've tipped the Cats. We are here, but I think we lose by four goals. Wow, that would be a great result for the Ds. I'm gonna have to go confident. We're playing some great defensive footy, we're getting opportunities with the forward line. If we could pull it out of the bag here, I'd be so stoked. I'm going to tip us by, I'm going to go 22 points. Mooney, how are you feeling, mate? I'm real nervous, actually. I've never been so nervous in my life for a game down here. Um, I've been playing pretty crap recently. So Just lost to the Giants here. Lost to the Giants last time, so um, it be interesting. But I've got us by 11. I like that. He's back the Cats by 11. Uh, I think big game for Jeremy tonight. Jesse Cameron, so... He's frustratingly due for a big game, which makes me a little bit nervous. Harrison Petty might have that role. It's just about to kick off here at Cape Park. Not that big of a turnout. It was here. Rundy's here in GMHBA Stadium. First game at GMHBA. It's all about to kick off. Come on, Dees. I can appreciate the class and skill from Stengel from 55 out in the bleachers, but Tanner Bruins hat kick forward has dribbled through as well. That's If we went to expected scores, I'm not sure either of those were expecting to go through, but the Cats have the first two of the game. Um, oh, haven't quite settled off the buy here, the Ds. I'm a little bit nervous. The play has been stopped for about 10 or 15, oh, maybe not 15 minutes, about eight, nine minutes now. Um, Jeremy Cameron is going to get put on the stretcher and then taken off. It was friendly fire with Gary Rowan. Um, yeah, shocking incident. We don't like to see it in footy. Very, very quiet down here at Cadenia Park. The crowd's going to cheer him off. Um, he's in a bad way. Isn't he? I think he is in a bad way. It's starting to rain. Which is, it's just insult. adding insult to injury. Critter marks and goals. Gets our first for the game 23 minutes into this first term. So no Jess from North Melbourne. Not the worst. Not the worst thing to have Jess here against. Needed that first one. Gary Rowan gets the Cats out to a 15 point lead and it's starting to rain. I just said to the boys, if we lose this, it's probably the last time we'll come down here. I've seen this result a million times before, so unless something changes quick smart, it's Groundhog Day for McDonald. Quarter time here at uh, GMHBA Stadium and geez, have I seen <laughs> first terms like that down here before where the Cats. Did I say it on the vlog that they'd kick three in the first four? I think so. Or did I say it just to you? I, I said we might start slow, but that was ridiculous. They were torping it from the centre square. They were slotting it from the boundary line. Everything was happening for the Cats, but we slowly worked our way back into the contest. And I think we kicked the last two or two of the last three. So we trailed by nine points. It's wet, it's cold, it's miserable. It's not that great a turnout. This time last year, it was a beautiful night. The Cats fans were going absolutely bananas. This just feels like a bit of a dead, <laughs> dead rubber, weird type game. Um, but we've worked our way back into it. How are you seeing it, Nooney? Pretty dominant start by the Cats. Yeah, I actually think we should be maybe two goals up. We're actually it's nice and uh, I don't say I'm surprised, but there is, it is a four quarter game, so anything can see happen. We have had three or sure, four points, and we have locked it in our forward half, but we haven't capitalised yet. We've trimmed the margin to it, five points, scoring. and we're doing it by singles. Kelsey uh, Biggers just kicked one of the more remarkable stuff. Well, uh, <laughs> just stopped. We yeah. actually just stopped. We've locked it in this front half. This has been a great second turn by the Ds. And we the haven't rain, put that many. The rain has Look at the rain. Turn it. We haven't put that stopped. much of a score on, which is frustrating, but what Show a finish. Me what the, the cannon gives you. 
Oh, it doesn't do it justice right now. <laughs> half time here at GMHBA Stadium and the D's front half footy, pretty dominant that term. Couldn't put it on the scoreboard. I reckon we kicked two goals six or something ridiculous. Very even contest. The Cats have clearly come to play. Their season is on the line, so you expect nothing less. But a pretty brave performance by the D's down here at GMHBA as well. It's just going to be a real interesting second half. It's anyone's game, Noonie. Yeah, great night for footy. Um, couldn't be better conditions. I think, I think uh, eight goals will win it tonight. Yeah, that's a great call. It's first to eight goals, we believe. Oh, we're going back out. It's raining. Cats and dogs. Oh, this is um, this is Geelong weather. If I'm Noah's having Noah's having all sorts of issues with the wet seat. <laughs> he's, 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 so gonna, he's making my own fun here. He's going to make it a squidgy. There we go, son. <laughs> There's been a couple of them. We've both been there together for them, haven't we? Well, Gorn's missed one. Tui's kicked one. Adam Tomlinson missed one around the siren. Gorn got one. Gorn got one. I don't want to go Hold through it. it right now. Gary Rowan. Joel Smith. <laughs> Gary Rowan. Huge big up. Here we go. Third time on the way. Come Gary Rowan against the tide, kicks one and gets the Cats the lead again. They're up by four. We've missed two or three from the goal square and it's frustrating me. Oh, come on. Right behind you, kick crew. Come on, son. Yes, go the D's. You just have to just shove booze there. Yeah. Two in a row. Cozzy gets out the back. Neil Bullen punches it forward and he slots it and the D's get out to a seven point lead. 20 minutes into this third. Three quarter time, the D's have a seven point margin. Once again, pretty dominant with the front half footy. Geelong counter attacked, I think once or twice that term. But once again, the D's had multiple, multiple chances to, to sort of put a bit of a gap on. I think Track missed a snap. I think Chandler or Smith or someone missed a snap. We've missed a couple of chances, but it's wet, it's slippery, it's clang of football galore. Seven point margin, I'll take it three quarter time. If we can kick the first, Jeez, it's going to be hard for the Cats because goals are a premium tonight. Noon. Look, seven points, yeah, you're right, there's a lot. It's two holes scoring, just very hard to come by at the moment. And, uh, yeah, there's a, look, it's just where we're the footy and it's, um, we need this. Geelong really need this. Season is I, on I, the I, line. I, yeah, Season right. is on the line. Oh, boy. 30 minutes of footy left. This could be it. <laughs> Not a bad call. It feels like if you win this, you might be able to get something going. The personnel's back, but obviously the cohesion isn't there at the moment for the Geelong Football Club. It feels like Gary Rowan still has a bit in the tank to kick a couple more and get you as well and truly back in it. We almost froze to death on our way to the, uh, the food outlet store as well. He's uh, keeping me warm. Like my legs locked up on the stairs. It is cold, it is wet. The D's are digging deep. One term to go. I've only seen us win here twice ever. Come on. Come on, D's! Come on, Cutters! Ollie Henry levels things here at Team HBA. Come on, Cutters! Oh. D's and Cats games here just don't, you know, they're not uh, big margin games ever. Come on, D's, dig deep! Zach Guthrie. Give the camera to Zach! Adds to the 10 ass goals that we've seen so far. He's just thumped it out of the stoppage and it's floated through. You'll never see that again. That is so fluky. It's frustrating. The cats are back. Cats up by six points. Get Which around Tommy Atkins there. That's taken a screamer. And we'll put it, the it cats. Hack them, you sort of stripped it. 12 oh. points in front. We butchered a chance going into oh. an open goal. And they go end to end. This is big. <laughs> Season. Kick Come on. This is Doss v Noon and Noon. Rowan! Rowan! Woo! Come on, Cutters! Cats go end to end. The D's had another chance. Couldn't capitalise on that game over. What a disgrace. Oh, game. I'm so frustrated. <coughs> So disappointed. I have seen that result so many times. There's just no need. It's Groundhog Day down to this stadium. Um, far out. I thought we were so dominant with some of the front half possession. Couldn't capitalize on the Cats. One of the most efficient teams ever, I would say. 
are capitalising at their chances. So frustrating. It's not who you play, it's when you play them. You get the Cats three weeks ago. Not at a... I was good ground. And, um... Oh, geez, you, you probably get the chocolates. You get them when all their personnel are back. And it's wet weather footy. And they provide a contest like that. So, so disappointing. Once again, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in. And I'm not sitting in that place any longer than I have to. Oh, I've got to go get this vlog done. Cheers, guys.